chapter 23. In the seventh year of Athaliah's reign, Jehoiada the priest decided to act. He got up his courage and made a pact with five army commanders, Azariah son of Jeroham, Ishmael son of Jehohanan, Azariah son of Obed, Maasiah son of Adaiah, and Elishaphat son of Zikri. These men traveled secretly throughout Judah and summoned the Levites and clan leaders in Judah's towns to come to Jerusalem. They all gathered at the temple of God, where they made a covenant with Joash the young king. Jehoiada said to them, The time has come for the king's son to reign. The Lord has promised that a descendant of David will be our king. This is what you must do. When the priests and Levites come on duty on the Sabbath, a third of them will serve as gatekeepers. Another third will go over to the royal palace, and the final third will be at the foundation gate. Everyone else should stay in the courtyards of the Lord's temple. Remember, only the priests and Levites on duty may enter the temple of the Lord. They are set apart as holy. The rest of the people must obey the Lord's instructions and stay outside. You Levites, form a bodyguard for the king and keep your weapons in hand. Any unauthorized person who enters the temple must be killed. Stay right beside the king at all times. So the Levites and the people did everything just as Jehoiada the priest ordered. The commanders took charge of the men reporting for duty that Sabbath as well as those who were going off duty. Jehoiada the priest did not let anyone go home after their shift ended. Then Jehoiada supplied the commanders with the spears and shields that had once belonged to King David and were stored in the temple of God. He stationed the guards around the king with their weapons ready. He formed a line from the south side of the temple around to the north side and all around the altar. Then Jehoiada and his sons brought out Joash, the king's son, and placed the crown on his head. They presented Joash with a copy of God's law and proclaimed him king. Then they anointed him, and everyone shouted, On live the king! When Athaliah heard the noise of the people running and the shouts of praise to the king, she hurried to the Lord's temple to see what was happening. And she saw the newly crowned king standing in his place of authority by the pillar at the temple entrance. The officers and trumpeters were surrounding him, and people from all over the land were rejoicing and blowing trumpets. Singers with musical instruments were leading the people in a great celebration. When Athaliah saw all this, she tore her clothes in despair and shouted, Treason! Treason! Then Jehoiada the priest ordered the commanders who were in charge of the troops, Take her out of the temple and kill anyone who tries to rescue her. Do not kill her here in the temple of the Lord. So they seized her and led her out to the gate where horses enter the palace grounds, and they killed her there. Then Jehoiada made a covenant between himself and the king and the people that they would be the Lord's people. And all the people went over to the temple of Baal and tore it down. They demolished the altars and smashed the idols, and they killed Matan, the priest of Baal, in front of the altars. Jehoiada now put the Levitical priest in charge of the temple of the Lord, following all the instructions given by David. He also commanded them to present burnt offerings to the Lord as prescribed by the law of Moses, and to sing and rejoice as David had instructed. He stationed gatekeepers at the gates of the Lord's temple to keep those who were ceremonially unclean from entering. Then the commanders, nobles, rulers, and all the people escorted the king from the temple of the Lord went through the upper gate and into the palace, and they seated the king on the royal throne. So all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was peaceful because Athaliah had been killed.